Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action. TV. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the Al Bight Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain versus Germany. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an excited match. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Contest begins. Serge Gnabry. Havertz. That's a very fine claim under pressure. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely right. They've got a manager that likes to bring in the young players. They play a style of football that only Spain can play. They've got some excellent technical players in midfield. They are a team that I think can go all the way. But you have to remember they're in a tough group. Germany and Japan are both very good teams. They're going to have to start this tournament well. Well read to put an end to that attack. Can they forge ahead? And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, he doesn't read the danger at all, does he? It's a poor piece of goalkeeping. So underway again here, one nil to score. Koke. Koke. 
And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? He's got to be cross with himself, straight into that human barrier. Can they put it away? Morata. Very quick thinking there. And space to attack. The inside route looks promising. Goretzka. And now with Havertz. Gnabry Prime tackle there to prevent the chance Gnabry Now with Muda. Well the keeper committed himself Short corner it is a shocking pass really Threaded through by Miller well the keeper performing brilliantly well that's just incredible he reacted so quickly there And the short option preferred. Defensive excellence there. And winning it back. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, Thomas Müller capable of doing so many things out there on the pitch to help his team, and he's delivering in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations, and he had a real impact on the plate. And the match begins... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. OK, careless with the pass. Havertz. This attack looks highly promising. Sané. Now Kimmy, surely! Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Sané, able to get a body in the way. Good use of advantage by the referee. Koke, Pablo Sarabia. They look as though they want to make this move count. Oh, fine stop. And they will make the change now. He's driven in the corner. Well, no end product. Morata. No way through. And he's beaten him here. And will it be the leveller? And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be.
Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Thomas Müller. Ferran Torres. And they have possession again. Sarabia. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. And a play for a Spain throw in. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Number 21, Danny Olmo. Substitution for the hosts. Coming off the pitch, number 13, Thomas Busquets. Making sure it didn't get past him. Well, no danger now. He's very adept at protecting the ball. He's given it straight to the opposition. And players waiting in the centre. Can they grab the lead late on? Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. A poor cross, all things considered. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. And goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis.